Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let us start our section with Surah Al Fatiha. Our topic for discussion today is the concept of learning from the Western and Islamic perspective. Generally speaking, when we say learning, learning, simply put, implies the possession of the possession of knowledge gotten by study. That is the general meaning of learning, whether it is formal learning or informal learning. Then in Islam, learning means, in Islam, all knowledge comes from God. And this knowledge from God is interpreted by the soul through it. It is interpreted through man's spiritual and physical faculty. The physical faculty of man are the five senses given to man by God, why the spiritual faculty is the called the spiritual heart, which has a connection with the physical heart. Therefore, in Islam, learning is defined as the arrival of meaning in the soul, meaning the arrival of meaning in the spiritual heart. In the West, the, the, term, the term concept generally connotes a principle or an idea. That is the meaning of concept. In the West, the learning is completely secular in outline. The word secular is an English word which is derived from another Latin word known as seculum. Seculum means worldly. The meaning of seculum is worldly and it is based solely on the power of reasoning. It is based on the principle, secular, secular knowledge is based on the principles of empiricism, i.e., for example, conditioning, reinforcement, etc. And in the West, they don't put religion into cognizance. That is because they do not believe in religion. They do not believe in God. For example, Sigmund Freud, who is the father of uh, psychoanalysis, said uh, religion is the opium of the people. Learning in the West is based on memorization. They memorize formula. Uh, for example, H2O, water, HCl, hydrochloric acid. Then in the West, they believe that learning is the sole function of the brain, where the brain has been uh, divided into parts, the right and the left brain. In Islam, however, learning is integrated because Islam believes in what is known as the raw. The raw is the breath of life which Allah breathed into man to make us live in today. Islam believes in religion, and learning in Islam is related to values, and these values are believed to change the mind and perception of man. In Islam, we also memorize. We, me we also memorize. We also memorize formulas like H2O for water, HCl for hydrochloric acid, etc. But in addition to this, we memorize the Quran, which is spiritual in nature. That is the reason why we always recite the Quran, which we have memorized during every prayer. In Islam, we believe in the form, we believe in role models and all the prophets of Allah, from Prophet Adam to Prophet Muhammad, are our role models. We learn from them. We emulate them. Therefore, whatever we have learned, 
we try to live by it. So other people, both Muslim and non-Muslims are like code emulators. So learning in Islam is all about kudwa, which is the role model. Sources of learning in Islam include directly from God and human experience. Sources that are directly from God include uh, revelation, inspiration, and true dream. Then human experience include conditioning. We believe in secular theories like operant conditioning, classical conditioning, behaviorism, and cognitive learning. But the difference between learning in Islam and learning in the West is that these learning theories, we do not accept them in their totality. Any theory, any secular theory that is not congruent with the teaching of Islam, we imbue such theories with the teachings of the Quran and prophetic hadith. Because if we accept Western theories in its totality, it will look like converting to another religion where Pavlov and Watson are the prophets. Islam believes in the psyche, in learning. The psyche is the term used to describe the soul, spirit, and mind. And the Quran, while describing this psyche, use terms such as called nafro to describe the psyche. So the raw is the breath of life, and it gives life to heart that we are still dead in ignorance. And in our religion, Islam, Islam, it has the same function the soul has in the body. The core, which is the spiritual heart, is a supersensory organ of cognition. It forms the intellective mind of man. Why the Akka is the intellect? Because it has capacity for thinking. And this Akka is provided to us humans, to distinguish us, to differentiate us from animals. It has so many functions, most especially it confers us on us the ability to uh, comprehend the ayats of Allah. The Prophet said, there is a certain organ in the body which if it works correctly, everything is in order, and if it works wrongly, then everything the whole body will spoil and that is the heart. And the Quran has also located the heart as the seat of intelligence and wisdom. Therefore, the salient difference between the concept of learning in Islam and the concept of learning in the West is that in the West it is secular in outline and they, they learn solely with their brain. While in Islam we imbue every knowledge with the Quran, which is our highest source of knowledge, then we learn from our heart because the brain has been subordinated to the dictates of the heart. Thank you.